What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Nerf News, your number one source for Nerf News on the net. I'm your host, Drac, and let's talk about this cobbled together monstrosity. Now, this is the Nerf AccuStrike Alpha Hawk. What makes this special? Well, at first, it's so hideous that I didn't think it was an actual Nerf Blaster. Luckily, we've got a super genuine uh, Nerf logo here, and that becomes much clearer when we see the actual Alpha Hawk uh, label later on in this video, showing, like, full elite styling and font, which really, like, brings home the genuine nature of this. Plus, it looks like a lot of the pieces are Nerf, especially this uh, turret here, or cylinder, depending upon how you want to call it, and the trigger port really harken genuine Hasbro goodness to me. Now, uh, these photos were leaked to me from one of my friends over in Singapore land, and I'm really, really thrilled that they were so that I could kind of share this with you because this isn't just a video about the Alpha Hawk itself. This is a video about the AccuStrike line, and we're going to talk about all kinds of speculation in it. So, first off, what does this blaster look like? Well, this looks to be a five-shot cylinder to me. And that's really disappointing because this whole blaster to me screams Borderlands sniper rifle. Like, it looks really cool. Now, revolver rifles are right up my alley. I like the Legend Fire. I've enjoyed blasters like this in the past. I think that they look really, really cool. In fact, if we skip through, um, this is a friend of mine, Landgrave Customs, made this. I forget what exactly he called it, but it's a hammer shot revolver rifle. And after he painted it up and made it really pretty, it was really cool. This looks like a specter that's been cobbled together into something similar. So this is why I think that it's a five-shot cylinder here. And then this is really fascinating. So we've got here, it says AccuStrike, and then I have a hard time making out what this says. It says like series, I believe, but this is the AccuStrike series. We've got another Nerf logo down here, so it's a whole new series. Now, what do we make of this? Well, AccuStrike is almost certainly something with a focus on accuracy. So the Elite line was a focus on range, as was the Vortex line was a focus on range. Then we've had a lot of, like, themed releases, but this doesn't look like any of the theme releases. This is not, like, diesel punk enough to be Doomlands. It's not sci-fi enough to be Doomlands 2169. It's definitely not Zombie Strike. There's no zombie elements to it, so it doesn't look post-apocalyptic. It's not military enough to be a, an elite blaster, so this is a whole new line. Now, I've just got to, like, stop and give a round of applause for Hasbro, because, like, they've got some stones as a company. They're already stretched remarkably thin between Doomlands, Doomlands 2169, Mega, Rebel, Elite, Zombie Strike, like, etc., etc., and all the Super Soaker and Star Wars tie-ins. It's insane how many blasters they're putting out, and they bit off another line, this time focusing on accuracy, I believe. So the question is, how are we going to get more accuracy out of Nerf blasters, and what does the Alpha Hawk tell us about that? And there isn't a lot. Like, this is the Alpha Hawk's front barrel. We've got a lot of faux material up here, not connected to these barrels at all. This looks to me to be a lot like a Spectre turret that's been widened and given more plastic. Now, it does look like an Elite Spectre turret, almost like a five-shot strong-arm turret, but what's going to make this more accurate? Are they bringing in new darts? That would be kind of crazy to me because we've really... I mean, built platforms upon platforms around these Elite Darts, and the cross-compatibility is really important. I was blown away when the Elite Darts came out, and they were reverse-compatible with Streamline-equipped in-strike blasters. I know that's been a long time for some of you guys, but remember Streamlines? Is this our next evolution in darts? I would kill for a photo of the darts that this is going to ship with, because I want to know if they're going to be different or better. Now, also, we've got what appears to be almost identical to the Raven shape. Imagine that there's no dead space here. This looks like a Raven back end. So this will be really cool for modders and integrations. The front end is going to be cool for like prop builders. The whole blaster is going to be cool for prop builders and cosplayers. Like, oh my gosh, Borderlands sniper rifle. But this is ridiculous. We do have a built-in iron sight up here. This is, of course, a circle, and this is a dot, a dot, a line. And then there's one more up here, and then a back one over here. Now, it is nice that this is coming with some in-strike railing. That'll be great to just have in the line. But once more, we have no barrel attachment point, hearkening the end of the in-strike line moving all the way into modulus. 
at this point. And there's no stock attachment point because obviously this has a stock integrated. Now the handle looks fine, kind of cool. I'm not sure if this hideous orange on like off blue, gray, whatever it is, is going to grow on me. Like it looks really kind of knockoffish to me, but uh, you are welcome to interpret to your taste. I think this is also an in-strike rail down here so you can mount scope in addition to your iron sights and a flashlight on your alpha heart. But I'm worried that this is going to cost way too much for what is essentially going to be a weird bolt action specter. Like, mm, I'm not sold. I, I think this is going to be expensive. It's going to be sold as like a primary class blaster, which means that I'm expecting an MSRP of about 30 to 35 United States dollars. I just don't think that it's going to be worth that amount of money. Now that said, there is no information on this blaster that I have beyond these pictures. So I'm not saying that that's what it's going to cost. I'm saying that based on my experience, I think that that's what it will cost. Now I could be wrong. Hopefully it's a $20 blaster, but I'm, I'm just not seeing it right now. That said, this is the AccuStrike line. I suspect new darts will play a, a serious role in making this a more quote unquote accurate line of nerf blasters, but I I don't know. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your opinions. I want to know if this is something that looks cool enough that you intend to purchase it. I'd love to know if this is something that you are interested in. Do you think that Hasbro is doing too many different things right now, kind of messing with their core competency, or are you just excited to see growth? I have mixed emotions on virtually all of those topics and hopefully I've covered them relatively well in this video but thank you so much for watching this Nerf News episode about the Alpha Hawk and I actually wasn't planning on releasing a video this Thursday my regular schedule is Monday Wednesday Friday but since I am I have the opportunity to tell you that tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern Time United States so 10 o'clock 10 p.m. EST shortly after this video goes live I'll be over at my Twitch channel, Vampire Drac, and I'll be streaming, I think, Overwatch for you guys. So if that interests you, if you just want to talk, we can definitely talk about the Alpha Hawk. We can talk about any sort of nerf stuff outside of commissions. Uh, I'd be happy to do that with you guys. So come check out the Twitch stream happening on uh, twitch.tv backslash Vampire Drac. The TV always throws me off, and uh, I'll see you guys over there. But... I hope you enjoyed this update. Thank you very much for watching. Much love. Nerf on. Drack out.